I hear that Umambo Sisiwem Kwebane may soon be moved from the seat of the public protector. As a taxpayer, I feel I have a right to speak about this on my social platforms. Because in parliament, where some people will vote uh, a voice, vote of no confidence in her, I won't get to parliament. You see, I won't be there. And in that, likening you to Umma uh, Wengane, I'm not disrespecting Umma Wengane, but I am speaking of the tenacity that you have shown, where your judgments, which were fair, which were right, were questioned and mocked by these uh, biased courts, the same courts who sent uh, Chief Justice Mukhoeng Mukhoeng on, on a sabbatical mode after he spoke about a captured media. Mam Kwebane, you have served with strength. You have become like the rock that was uh, f uh, placed at the front of uh, Jesus' tomb. A rock that could not be moved you can try to shake her, but she will come back. That's the tenacity. Umawengane umblocka with phone because you are an irresponsible father and you say you have moved on. When ingane vkula epsuku, umawengane uzumbone se ngongoza kini. Anga ngongoza ili nakoela ki kamera ngongoza ili la mama na babu wako. Because you have shown her that you do not care about your child because of whatever activities that made you not answer the phone. We know very much the conflict that comes with umawengane. But I, I even remember on the APSA case, when there is proof that there is companies or are companies who are gaining by selling arms or dealing with regimes such as the apartheid regime, then I have a question when companies like o APSA are allowed to just, you know, just in jihad and say, no, no, it was the time. Because when South Africa was a pariah state, there are people who continued to trade with the regime. Even now, we still have an apartheid state in Israel, where unfortunately Judge Mokhoeng Mokhoeng has also gotten himself in that mix, that are in apartheid state and the Palestinians need their own Mandela's. Even if they don't have their own Mandela's, I wish they can have an advocate, Busisa Nimkweban. Because you have shown that you don't need to be popular. You will speak the truth as is. You will speak the truth as is. Because there are people who are excited by the noises of the media. But that's why your cases, they get broadcast, but the, the, the appeals and so forth, they get less, and those that are overturned, you hardly hear of cases that are overturned. Now, the public protector, when it comes to the money of taxpayers, you were able to produce for us a clean audit, but the lady that is praised, praised because he gave Zuma the middle finger, not because he was a competent uh, public protector, because that's why you, pra you praise Sulima Donzella. You praise Sulima Donzella because she gave Zuma the middle finger and got a residency in Stellenbosch. When I advocate Mkoban, your, your audits were clean two years in a row as a taxpayer that speaks to my heart. We are taxpayers getting paid, and in seven days, if not less, we are back on Mashonisa. There are many other cases, Mamum Kwebane, that you've gotten involved in, and somebody else has taken the glory. We thank you, and I want to say wherever you go, I will be there if you let me there, because you can become a sort of having tea party like the former president is doing. There is so much knowledge within you, but the media 
and uh, political parties have made us not see that where the media has blocked you from speaking the truth, may you use your own avenues because they're young women. Even Dr. Mpo, who the DA made them praise the Israelis, saying Israel is, is welcome here as if there is no apartheid thing going on there. They need women like you. If Dr. Mpo did not have your number, it's time she got it because she is being used to serve an agenda. You are a rock. For every woman's day, for every mother's day, and for all other days, we are thankful. We are thankful. Uganda, kwaliwa umtagati.